I'm sure most of you heard about this 2010 film called, Despicable Me. It was really popular when it was released on July 2010. Well, I love that film too. Most notably, everyone recognizes the cute yellow creatures named, Minions, who serve supervillain turned hero Felonius Gru, and following the film's success, it made two sequels, releasing in 2013 and 2017. A spin-off prequel film, Minions, was released in 2015, which tell the epic story of the Minions before they met Gru. A sequel to the Minions film, Minions, The Rise of Gru, is scheduled to be released in 2021, following its delay from a July 2020 release following the global COVID-19 pandemic shutting down every cinema and theater in the world. Well, speaking of theaters and cinemas, I used to work at an AMC theater in California. I loved my job. Until I discovered something horrific. Here's what happened. I was just your typical, average, ordinary cinema employee. I was cleaning up Cinema Hall 7, which was showing Inception. I swept the uneaten snacks on the chairs, floor, and little crevices in the walls. I sprayed the popcorn and soda-filled air with some air freshening spray, and cleaned up all the soda spills. I was leaving the Cinema Hall, until I saw what looked to be a yellow Do Not Cross tape. The tape you would see in a crime scene. The tape was on the door that led to Cinema Hall 10. I asked my fellow colleagues if they know anything about this cinema hall, and they gave me the face of confusion. Sometimes I would get responses like, what are you talking about? And, I don't know what you're talking about even. As my curiosity kept rising more and more, I asked the co-manager of the cinema if he knows about this cinema hall. Ha, huh, do you know anything about Cinema Hall 10? I asked. What? He responded. It's like he doesn't know it existed and that I was the only one who knew. Stressed, I lead my co-manager to the door of Cinema Hall 10 and he followed me. I showed him the door of the Cinema Hall, and he became as pale as a ghost. He told me to follow him into his office, and told me to sit down upon arriving to his office. I sat down and he told me the entire story. He said that, back in 2010, Despicable Me premiered on that Cinema Hall and a hacker somehow managed to show a disturbing version of the film. Reports say that the moviegoers in Cinema Hall 10 were terrified and were immediately escorted to the hospital. It's said that one of the moviegoers told about this horrific experience. He said that the moviegoer told CNN about the movie. The co-manager then opened up his TV and played what looked to be a recording. The co-manager's TV played a recording of what looked to be a news report. The moviegoer then appeared on camera and said that he and the audience had shown the most scariest thing known to mankind. He said that in the scene where Gru and Margo were falling when Gru tried to save her from Vector, instead of the minions catching Gru and Margo, the minions didn't save Gru and Margo at all. Instead, a disgusting splat sound was heard and a picture showed. Scary music began to play as the camera showed Gru and Margo's dead bodies. The strange part was, the bodies looked like Gru and Margo's voice actor and voice actress, Steve Carroll and Miranda Cosgrove respectively. After showing 10 minutes of Gru and Margo's corpses, a pair of hands emerged from the bottom of the screen. A minion with blue eyes appeared and screamed so loud that the now frightened audience fled the cinema hall. Other moviegoers reported that the moviegoers in Cinema Hall 10 told them not to watch the film that was shown in that movie hall, as they ran into their cars with their crying children. The co-manager turned off his TV and concluded the story. He said that, after the incident, no one was going into Cinema Hall 10, even when it showed the original, non-hacked version of Despicable Me. One of the parents even tried suing AMC, but the case was settled, with the court finding in favor of AMC, and the company issued a public apology on its official Twitter and Facebook account. The cinema I was working in was forced to close the Cinema Hall due to low attendance, and also to prevent future incidents from happening again. I left the office and that's it. The next day, I felt prepared to go into that cinema hall and clean it. I was just cleaning Cinema Hall 2, where it was showing the Sorcerer's Apprentice. I made sure no one was around and unlocked the door via the key I had in my pocket. When the door opened, there was so much dust in the air that I coughed a bit. I opened my flashlight and sure enough, it was empty. I could see leftover popcorn and soda stains all over the floor and chairs. There were even popcorn and soda cups on the chairs. I looked onto one of the soda cups in one of the chairs and I almost begged and vomited. The cup was filled with soda, but on top of it, was some disgusting mold and I swore I saw a plant growing on it. I looked at the popcorn and it was mushy, so mushy that it actually began to melt onto one of the seats. 
I decided to clean the cinema hall, but it was so dark I had to hold my flashlight in my mouth to clean the seats. As I was cleaning, I heard the door slowly open and I ducked behind the seats to make sure no one knows I was trespassing in this hall. The figure then left the hall, as I stood up from my hiding spot. Then I went to the projector room of Cinema Hall 10. As I went up there, I found something horrifying. It was a body of someone. The body was unrecognizable, and when I shined my flashlight onto the person in question, I noticed it was the local AMC projector guy. Then, I heard someone's voice say, Hey, what are you doing here? Then, I turned around and saw someone, holding a knife. Horrified, I ran towards the door, which was opened a crack and left in a hurry. I locked the door of Cinema Hall 10, and never told anyone about my experience. I didn't know if that was the hacker from 10 years ago or was it a deranged psycho, I guess I'll never know. If you ever find this Cinema Hall in the Californian branch of AMC, do not go in there. Seriously. I am begging you.